Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodemont, this is Christopher Drayers. Hey guys. This is Matt Weiss. You did it! You did it! You got it right! <laughs> Alright, so enough with all of the shenanigans. Alrighty. Um, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at oh, Hockey Locker, 2002 yeah. West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey needs, uh, goalie gear, Skating, uh, forward gear, defensive gear, you can get your referee gear, you can get figure skating gear, you can get inline hockey gear, you can get your skates sharpened. They have a drop-off slot. You can uh, drop off your skates, leave some contact info, and they'll call you when they're done or email, text you, whatever you prefer. And then, not only that, but wait, there's more. They have old retro hockey jerseys, and for the young ones, they have reused skates because, you know, kids go through skates like... Yep. Get and they up. also do jersey customizations as well, which is nice. Yep. Um. So today. Wait a minute, Dan. Where, where where can you go to Hockey Locker? Where can you find this 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 land of hockey haven? Uh, uh. Um. 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 Yeah, we're not sponsored by that store. Oh no. <laughs> um. Um. But they are located at twenty o two West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, you could also visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com or call them at 414-800-7585. So today, the Milwaukee Admirals. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. I haven't seen that in a while. All right. Um, played the Manitoba Moose. It's a moose. It's a yeah, moose. it was a nice afternoon hockey game. I enjoyed that. Well, they had, uh, what was it, Safety Patrol Day? Um, the arena? Yeah, so it's basically what they're trying to do is raise awareness for kids that walk to and from school uh, to safely. Yeah. Well, again, like, what is it? They do, like, the safety patrols for, like, elementary schools. Yeah, and it was cool because the kids uh, showed up to the arena dressed like superheroes, you know, like Iron Man, Batman, Spider-Man, stuff like that. Wonder cool. Woman. That might be cold in Manitoba. <laughs> <laughs> be doing this well, either way, yeah, you know, there's yeah. kids in yeah. costumes. That's still cool. Yeah, yeah but you could do gold. People but there, but so for a little girl, problem. you could do gold leggings for Wonder Woman and oh, get yeah. away with it. Yeah. So, all right. So in this game, shots were even. Nobody scored on the power play. Penalties were high. Oh, we oh, started. Yeah, look at that. What is it? We wouldn't even get in one minute into the game, and we are already into a fight. Yeah, nine seconds into the game, boom! Tanner Janelle's fight. Yep. Um, on the other note, there was a uh, Ryan White and uh, Matthew Olivier got a 10-minute misconduct. Yakov Trenin and Nelson Nozier got into a fight. Trenin won that one. <laughs> yeah. Easily. Um, and then Ryan White got another unsportsmanlike 10-minute misconduct. So that was that. Scoring in the first period, nothing. Anybody want to take the first two in the second? I'll take the first two. So we had uh, Mika Salamaki got his fifth goal uh, unassisted. Good job, Mika. You did it. And uh, second, we had uh, Jakob Trenin, uh, his third game back in Milwaukee. Yes. Uh, with his 16th goal with an assist uh, by uh, Frederick Pedro with his 14th assist. All right, and then up next we had Illy Tolvin in his hey. 15th with an assist from Mika Salamaki. And then the Moose got on the board. It was Nelson Nozier with his first with an assist from Jimmy Olney, his ninth. And Seth Griffith, his 16th. And if you want to take the uh, last one, Chris. And then uh, Rem Pitlick got his 17th of the year unassisted. It was an even strength goal. Empty net. Empty net. Yep. All right, your three stars of the game were Nelson Nozier with a goal. Uh, second star of the game was Mika Salamaki, by the way. Good job, Mika, giving the stick to a little kid. I always like watching that, whether you're home or away. It just shows class by you. Yeah, did yeah. you spot some Admiral jerseys in the crowd? Yes. yes. Um, and then we had Yakov Trenin scoring a goal as a first star, so I don't know why South I Milwaukee. really need to get my passport, because that would be cool Same. to go to I, hockey. I would love camp. to do... Uh, All the, right, so in anyway. net for the Moose was Eric Comrie. Kick net Comrie. Uh, he had stopped 26 of 29... Um, and we had Connor Ingram for the Admirals, stopping 21 of 22. Uh, head coach for the Moose is Pascal Vincent. Uh, assistant coach Eric Dubois, assistant coach Marty Johnston. Um, head coach for Milwaukee is Carl Taylor, assistant coach Scott Ford, assistant coach Greg Rollo. 
<laughs> Attendance at the Bell MTS place was 8,837. And just like, I know that's going to look a little bit like extravagant, but then again, it fits the event. Yes. The event was perfect for that. All right. So your uh, referees were the same as the last Moose game. Yep. Uh, Brendan Biggers and uh, Matthew uh, Manini. Manini. Then we have linesman Kelsey Mahoney. I wonder if that's any relation to old wrestler Balls Mahoney. Rest in peace. <laughs> and then we have no Neil Propqua. A pro cop. Pro cop. He's a pro cop. Well, I mean, he is a referee. You see. <laughs> All right, so now the Admirals are 3-1 and one against the Moose. Uh, up next. It would be the Iowa oh. Wild on Wednesday for the Admirals. Yeah. So this was a, like getting past the Moose, and I know people were still upset about the, the loss to them on, on Saturday. Yeah. But like I'd rather them scrum it out here and get like get back on, back into form because after that Wolves third period collapse, uh, last week, we just needed two easy games to kind of pick ourselves back up on. And a one nothing loss is still not a bad loss. I will say that. Yeah, I'd rather see something on the board, but getting this, uh, like, considering that this game was more of a scrimmage with the Moose to get into form for Iowa's game, that's a bonus for us since the Wild haven't played a game yet this week. No, they haven't played since Saturday. So... This gives us kind of a, I like to think that this gives us a little bit of a leg up in as far as, uh, you know, getting hot. Yep, and they will be back in town most likely tomorrow. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so coming up next for the Admirals, Odd Wednesday is a wedding Wednesday here, right here in Milwaukee at the UW Panther Arena. You can get tickets right now. Go over to Ticketmaster or you can call the Admirals office at 414-227-0550. Um, and get your tickets, and if they win, you get a free one to the next Wednesday game, which happens to be camera night. Yeah. So then you can get your free ticket, if they win, you can get your photo taken with your favorite Admirals player. And we're playing San Antonio, I think? Yep, one of the last few visits San Antonio may ever have. Let's yeah. get, like, because it's not official yet, but let's give San Antonio some love. Seriously. Yep, um, so in that sense, um... With the Wild, the Admirals are two and two. Yep, yep. I think was it our two home home games that they've had here that we won both. No, we won once there, oh, yeah. once here. Oh, once that's there, right. Once here, we had our we had a rare win in uh, Des Moines. Yeah, the last meeting was on December sixth. It was a seven-one Admiral victory. That was an ugly game too because we were just getting like was it lots of fights. Like we even took out. Uh, Former Admiral uh, Lee Mike, Mike Leambas, who's now their uh, alternate captain. Ooh, I don't know how that happened, but oh, like yeah. we were worried. Like someone in our section was like, "What happened if someone would fight Leambas? Someone just blindsides him, and like that, the rest is history." It turned out to be a really ugly game. Yep. Um, so they um, and they they are actually the Admirals are on a two game win streak against them, winning in their last meeting before that on November. 19th, 6-5 to five in Iowa and overtime. You can, you'll you have to pardon me if I do this. I'm going to just, <laughs> just knock on wood a little bit. All right, so you want to get into their top scores? All right, All right for Iowa, uh, we have uh, Jerry Mayhew. Uh, he has 39 goals, 20 assists. And then Sam Anas, uh, 17 goals, 42 assists. Then we have Brennan Mantle, uh, 5 goals, 33 assists. Then we have Kyle Rau, uh 11 goals, 27 assists. And then we have Nico Sturm, 11 goals, 18 assists. I'm a little surprised to see that. Um, I was currently, they're 4-1 and one in their last five. Their last victory came on February 15th against San Diego. It was a 5-2 loss. I'm surprised to see that Brennan Mendel's that high on their top score. Um, anything then again, else you guys want to add on this one? Assist, in the last 10, they're 8-1, 0-1. Oh, um, in the Admirals last 10, they are now 6-3, uh, 0-1. Oh, again, not bad. That's not bad, people. Yeah, I'm not panicking. 
As long as you stay at 500 at this point, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can. Their road record for the Wild is not that good. No. They are 12, 7, 3, and 1. So it's pretty much 500. Compared to our 17, 7, 3. Yeah, but the one. Admiral's home record is 18, 4, 1, and 2. So. Well, we're, we're still, like, again, we're still able to hit 500. Yeah. That's all that matters. But that's, that, that just also reflects on that Panther Arena needs to, like, Panther Arena needs to kind of. Really? The Admiral's are 47 and 174 on the power play? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Iowa's 48 for 225. Yeah, they've gone on more power plays. So. Yeah, I can see. Holy crap. Yeah, the Admirals at home have a power play percentage of 26.5. I think and the still... Admirals are, what is that, 31 for 213 on the penalty kill? Yeah. Yeah, so they have an 87% and an 80 uh, at home. Yeah. Um, it should be a good matchup because Iowa's currently number two in the division, so... Yes. And they're creeping. They're creeping already to... Yeah, they've got a nice little run going right now over the last 10. So this is going to be one of those uh, hair-pulling moments that uh, us fans have where we just want to rip our hair out. All right, so let's talk about the goaltenders. So we Go got Capo Kakinen, who has 28 games played, uh, five shutouts with a 2.16 goals against average, 21 wins, five losses, and two overtime losses. Uh, with a shootout percentage of point five five six, ouch. Yeah. So if this game goes to a shootout and Kakinen's in there, yeah, it's over. <laughs> um, Matt Robeson, he has a twenty-two games played, one shutout, with a two point nine seven goals against average, ten wins, eight losses, four overtime losses, with a save percentage of nine point zero zero, with a shootout save percentage of point nine six one five. As long as they're in regulation, they're golden. But if it comes, like you said, if it comes yeah. to a shootout, ow. Yeah, I get nervous with the shootout. I don't think our team's that good during the shootout this well, year. I'm not gonna pin it on. I'm not gonna pin it on our goaltenders who are both lights out. <laughs> right. They but are two out of the top five goalies every, in the league. So. Every goalie that I know will tell you that they hate the shootout. Yeah, shootouts they that make everybody shootout. nervous. Dan, did you ever hate shootouts? Yes. There you go. <laughs> uh, my knees did not like it because I'd have to pop back up and, and go again. I bet you your back didn't like it because you needed your uh, spine to be a slinky. Yeah, I remember one time I actually uh, ended up uh, catching myself on the pipe and had to spin around to stop a puck. That was not fun. No, it hit me in the I back, which it means it didn't go in the net. So I was, I was happy with that. I'm just like, please it hit me. <laughs> But, you know, those things happen. Um, Life of the goalie. Yeah. Um, well, sometimes you just hope it hits you. <laughs> uh, that's all we got as far as I know. Yep. Uh, stay tuned to us uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will be covering the Predators and Carolina Hurricanes. Yep. Um, and then on Wednesday, we will be doing the uh, Milwaukee Admirals and the Iowa Wild. Yeah. And the... Uh, Florida Everblades and Orlando Solar Bears. And you also got a YouTube exclusive? Yep, that'll be coming on Wednesday morning. And what are we talking about? Uh, logos. Ooh, NHL logos? Yes. There we go. Yes, we're going to talk about NHL um, crust logos. All right. So These logos. We're, we're going to talk primary logos. We're not going to just talk about every single logo of the club. Yeah, okay. we don't have like nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, what was that? Uh, Wash between Washington, Vancouver, and uh, um, who was that? The Ducks. They have like eight different logos and three Jeez. eight, and they have eight different secondary patches. So yeah, um, we'll we'll get into those in <laughs> a little bit. Um, but this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. Check out our friends at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Daniel, this is Chris, and this is Matt, and we will see you guys later. Yeah.